Saturday. It is March 20th. It is the first day of spring. Happy first day of spring. We just came to the university quickly um, just to try to scope out good places to take pictures because um, I wanted some cute first day of spring pictures because I'm wearing a cute spring dress and uh, it's just, what? And it's just, uh, it's just super windy. So I don't know if today is really the the best day to take pics, but um, we did try, so we'll see if any of them turned out. We just stopped in at our favorite bakery that does really beautiful vegan um, cookies. We got some Easter ones. We get them pretty much every like holiday or season. So this is exciting. Tried again for pictures in our usual sort of country setting. It is just so windy today. It's nearly impossible. Um, but maybe we can find some place a little bit more sheltered because this was pretty out in the open field vibes. Again. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, the wind is just so strong today. At least it's a warm wind. It's like super warm outside, so um, that's that's a plus. So this was the outfit today. Um, I'll just show you more fully. Um, sheer text tights, my Sam Edelman, I think they're called, um, boots. This dress is from American Eagle, super random, but I thought it was super just beautiful and perfect for summer and then even spring, cause you can layer it up. Um, this old jean jacket that I've had forever I honestly don't even remember where, the, where this is from. Um, and then just, oh, it's Topshop, that's right, thank you. Um, I think it's called like the Moto denim jacket or something from Topshop like years ago. And then just my turtleneck from Banana Republic and all of the regular jewelries. And that's the outfit. up some pretty spring flowers at the store because I got this stunning vase from Ikea a couple weeks ago. Oh, and also this one, which was 99 cents. It is finally time to get into comfy clothes. Me and my mom just got back from the store. We got some snacks, some chips, Got my flowers. Cause it's the first day of spring, I thought flowers were sort of needed. And yeah, I'm gonna get into my pajamas now. Thank the Lord. Oh, there is no better feeling than finally getting into comfy clothes. Never mind. Um, we're going out again. <laughs> Real classic Beale family running around the city all day long coming home, going back out, coming home again, going back out. My mom's convinced me to go take another set of pictures. So that's what we're doing. Wave to my grandma. Um, anyway. Cheers. <laughs>
it's monday i didn't talk to you guys yesterday although i did vlog a couple clips yesterday was just a sort of chill study day today was pretty much the same thing just had some zooms and then just did some schoolwork. um a little concerned because my nail polish chipped and i think i accidentally ate it so i'm just wondering if i might die keep you updated on that and yeah so i'm just gonna keep studying i feel like i have definitely slowed down recently um and haven't been as productive as i said that i had started being that kind of has passed me by um not that there's tons left to do i finished torts readings for the entire term. I finished property readings for the entire term. Our class, um, our legal methods class has officially ended like you guys know. Um, so what I have left is constitutional readings and crim readings and then just like the weekly contract stuff. Um, which admittedly I don't do any of the readings for so there's not much left to do I should at some point start actually studying for exams but we'll we'll see about that applying what are called the four unities meaning that you have a number of It's Tuesday, March, no it's not. It is Wednesday, March 24th. And I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys a lot in this vlog. It's just been a real slow week. Um, I really haven't been up to much. I haven't even really been that productive with school. Um, yeah, it's just been really chill and there's not been a lot going on. Uh, last night I made some vegan chocolate chip cookies, which are divine um so that was fun and basically that's it uh steve came over for a bit um this morning or more so afternoon to study and he's off to work now um so i'm going to do a little bit more studying today and that's pretty much it i just wanted to say hi because I feel like, like I said, I haven't really talked to you guys a lot this vlog. Um, also just wanted to say that <laughs> my literal favorite YouTuber right now, Leandra Yomo, just followed me on Instagram. So I am absolutely fangirling right now. Um, she goes to uh, Duke Law. So... I don't know, I just love everything about her, so I can't believe she followed me on Instagram. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, so that's all. That's it. That's the update for right now. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Can I get a grande uh, matcha green tea latte? A grande matcha green tea latte, okay. Yeah, with oat milk and one pump of raspberry. Got my starbs. I am trying the hot matcha today. Um, I've only had the iced and let me tell you, the hot matcha with the one pump of raspberry, next level, this next level. accomplished absolutely nothing today so I thought that I would just relax tonight <laughs> um honestly though I might try to read a little bit more 
of a criminal case, um, but I, I really did get nothing done today. To be fair, there isn't that much left to do, so I'm letting myself off the hook. A big never mind on the trying to do a little bit more reading um, because Steve just texted me and he's on his way over. So tomorrow's a new day. Maybe, okay, what is going on? Tomorrow's a new day. Maybe, maybe tomorrow I will do something productive. I mean, that's what we can hope for. But I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday, so that's very exciting. <sighs> okay, good night. Hi. I just wanted to jump in right in the middle of this vlog to do a little haul for you guys. So I've accumulated a lot of pieces over the last little or big chunk of time, probably since um, early February. Um, and so I have a lot of pieces to show you, um, but I'm gonna split it up into two different hauls. So this video, I'm gonna start with the work clothes portion of the haul. And then next vlog, I will include the spring clothes portion of the haul. So let's get into it. So I also purchased things from kind of a variety of different stores. I'll start with the Eurexia stuff. So first thing is this blouse, which is absolutely stunning. It is kind of like this sort of like vintage Romeo type vibe. And I just thought it was so extremely beautiful and it's super, super light and flowy. I thought it would be great for working this summer. Aritzia really has just the loveliest blouses in the whole world, so super happy with this one. Next blouse is this one. It's very similar to the last one. Um, it's very flowy and sort of like a vintage um, vibe. Um, I feel like this is totally Chanel vibes, which I really love. Um, just has buttons that you button up. And I just, again, think it's really light and airy. Um, it'll be perfect for summer um, at work. So equally as happy with this one. So the last couple things I got from Aritzia were some blazers. And this one is kind of just the classic Aritzia style, slightly oversized and just really beautiful cut. Um, can't really tell what color this is. For me, it's looking um, like the color it was kind of supposed to look like, kind of like a taupey brown, um, but in person, it more so looks like a khaki green-ish. I can't really tell. Um, so really happy with this blazer. Um, just definitely stocking up on work clothes um, for my job this summer. So I also got the matching pants for that blazer. These pants are really stunning. Um, the fit of them are really perfect. Um, shoot, I forgot that I should be telling you what sizes I got. Um, so I'll start now. I got these in a size four. Um, they are slightly big. I probably could have done a size two. Fit really nicely. I'm going to have to get these hemmed though. Um, keep in mind that I am five two. So a lot of the pants that I order are pretty long on me. So before I start working, I'll have to get these hemmed, like I said. And because that blazer was so beautiful and sort of classic and had a really beautiful um, just fit and style to it. I also got it in this beautiful gray color. Um, I don't have a gray blazer like this, so I was really um, happy that I found this one because I really, like I said, really like the style of this one. They don't have matching pants to this, which is too bad because I really would have liked to have the matching pants with this. Um, but yeah, same blazer, just a different color and gonna be perfect for work. Moving on to the next door, I'll show you all of the things that I got from Oaken Fort, which is one of my favorite, oh, hi Chris, um, which is one of my favorite um, brands to shop because they have really classic, um, beautiful pieces 
it's just a little bit more affordable. Um, so the first piece I got was this silk, or I think it's sateen um, blouse in this champagne color. I'll have to iron the collar a bit, but I just think this is so stunning and just, it looks, you know, it's gonna look perfect tucked in. And I just thought it was something that I needed to have for work. And I've been wanting a silk blouse like this for a long time. So when I saw these on Oakenfort, I thought they were a perfect purchase. And so with that being said, I also got the same blouse, but in this color, um, it's kind of a darker um, sort of taupey color, um, but it's that same silk material. And again, it's just a perfect blouse to tuck into some dress pants and uh, I mean, you're good to go. They also do have a bit of an oversized fit. So in both of these blouses, I got them in a size extra small. My washer is going off. Um, but moving on to the next um, pieces. So I'm gonna do a couple of like kind of miscellaneous sort of brands here. And so the first thing that I got was this dress from the Bay, um, Hudson's Bay here in Canada. Um, but it's actually the brand Carl Lagerfeld. Um, and I just saw it online and I really thought it had a beautiful vintage sort of vibe to it. And I loved the belt that goes with it. And I don't have any sort of work dresses. So I thought this would be a perfect first addition to the collection. I got this in a size four, probably could have done a size two, but, um, but yeah, not the end of the world and it still fits great. So next up, I have a couple of pieces from RW and Co, which has um, tons of sort of business um, wear and, and clothing of that sort of type. And so, like I was saying, I don't have a lot of sort of um, work dresses. So I picked this up. Um, it's just a um, sort of, I guess, I guess it's a sheath dress. I just thought it looked really beautiful, just classic fit um, with a blazer. Um, and I thought it would look really good, just classic sort of style. Um, thought it would look really good with a blazer over top or even a collared shirt underneath. Um, so yeah, I got this in a size small. With RW & Co, I find that their pricing also is very, very reasonable and they have a really high quality um, pieces. Kind of going along the same theme of the work dresses, um, the next item I got was actually a skirt and it's a pencil skirt. It's just a plain old black pencil skirt and I don't have anything like this and I thought that because I'll be working this summer this was something that was definitely needed in the old work wardrobe. So super happy I got this. This is in a size four. And so the final piece that I'm going to show you guys in this work clothes haul is, what is going on? Is this blouse. And this is from Mod Cloth. It's kind of a vintage um, clothing store. Um, and I've never ordered them from them before, but I've known about them because I went through a vintage clothing phase like back in grade nine. And I was super obsessed with their website. Um, but yeah, I got this blouse from Mod Cloth and super random, but honestly, it is so beautiful. I really loved the cuffs at the wrist so that the arms are kind of balloon style. And yeah, I just, I just needed to get this blouse. I have a lot of white blouses, but this one is just next level stunning. And this is gonna be one of those blouse, blouses that's really perfect for pairing under that um, black dress that I showed you guys from uh, RW & Co because it just has such a beautiful flow to it and it's not too, um, stiff like you know like something like this um, so yeah and that is everything I had to show you guys for this work clothing haul I hope you enjoyed I've been picking up a lot of pieces that are appropriate for a workplace just because I do as you guys know have a summer job and so I just wanted to ha make sure that I had enough to wear all summer long to look my best professionally so yeah, um, stay tuned for next vlog where I will be including the spring portion of the haul. Hi, it's Thursday, it's March 25th. It is my mom's birthday and she is at work and it's a school day for me. So we're gonna celebrate tonight. I think we're gonna order some dinner um, just have a nice, chill sort of birthday celebration for her. 
Um, I am sorry that I wear the same sweater every single day. I'm sure you guys are all very sick of it, but and this is just my favorite sweater. Um, I just had an environmental law group meeting and for some reason those meetings consistently just like stress me out like I literally have sweat like dripping down my body I don't even know what it is like totally chill meetings like nothing like to be stressed out about but I don't know consistently every single time anyway um we were just talking about the future of the group for next year I'm tentatively going to be the communications person, which means that I make all of, like the Facebook group posts and all of that. Um, and yeah, so now we didn't have crim today. Crim class was canceled. Um, so that was nice. We had a bit of a slow morning. Like I said yesterday, Steve came over last night and we just watched Impractical Jokers like usual. And yeah, I have class I have torts at 2 and it's just before 12 30 so I have about an hour and a half I got to do a, a I just got to do a couple of things which I should write down before I forget um but yeah so that's that's Thursday okay so I just submitted I just submitted some definitions um for this project that we were all working on for the, that, um, the executive team of the environmental law group was working on together. So I got that submitted. So that is done. Um, and now I think I should probably go to the store to see if there's a birthday cake for my mom. I think she would like one. I should probably go. Interesting. I thought it was cold out today, but it's actually quite beautiful. Literally, if I don't watch it, I will get bangs. I will get those curtain bangs that are so on trend right now, but also that I've wanted for a while because my forehead is just far too big to be on full display. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... It needs to, it needs to cover up a little. Okay, it's actually such a beautiful day out. It's actually so warm and the sun is so beautiful and bright today. I was not expecting that because Yesterday was really cold, and then tomorrow is supposed to be really cold, so I was thrown off when I went outside today, and it was super warm. Anyway, I'm home now, and I have to quickly scarf down my leftovers from last night's dinner, um, which was the sweet and sour cauliflower. Ooh, little, little rhyming action. Because I have class in about half hour, and it is camera on mandatory for torts um and i don't want to eat on camera so i really gotta be quick here gotta be quick okay so i just realized i had to wrap my mom's present as well so i just did that whilst trying to eat my leftovers the leftovers are absolutely stunning by the way um but i just added a cute little um baby's breath um sprig from my spring flowers onto her gift i just thought just thought it looks pretty. Um, oh, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. So I'm out of class. We had torts this afternoon and my mom is home and it's her birthday and we're just waiting on dinner. Her birthday dinner of choice was Smitty's. So I got cauliflower wings and some shredded hash browns. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put Two pieces of toast in the toaster because you fat fuck. <laughs> my Whoa. classic Smitty's meal is 
cauliflower wings with shredded hash browns and toast with jam. That's always what I get when, whenever we used to go to the restaurant. Um, so I'm gonna recreate it at home and I'm putting two pieces of toast right in this toaster. Eat your cake, honey. Don't just lick it. There you go. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> oh, that's we're off to get a birthday starbs. The last thing that I want to do right now the absolute last thing that I want to do right now is do ratings. It's the absolute last thing. And I know that sounds dramatic, but it's the truth. It's the last thing that I wanna do. Just finished my crim readings for next week. So I think that is enough work for tonight. It is 10.27, um, 33 more minutes until Taylor Swift releases a song from the Fearless Vault. I am going to throw up. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to edit. I'm about to listen. <laughs> I love Taylor Swift. So it is Friday, March 26. We woke up this morning to find that winter is among us once again. I'm honestly not surprised. I thought spring had sprung a little too early, but that doesn't mean I wasn't a little disappointed this morning. I woke up late and that needs to stop. If anyone has any tips for me on how to start getting up early, like please tell me, or I could just cut it out and I could start getting up early and just drag myself into bed, but that hasn't happened so far. And that's what I've been wanting to do for a long time, but it just hasn't happened. I can't get out of bed in the morning. Um, so I have a meeting in about like five minutes. So um, that's fun. I got dressed um, this very light pastel-y green shirt is from Oaken Fort. It's just a button up and then this oversized long cream colored sweater vest is from H&M um, and then just wearing my I don't know if I've told you but I got some new Aritzia jeans there's actually a lot of good uh, styles of jeans on Aritzia right now so I had picked up a couple of pairs um, these ones are the I honestly don't remember so I'll put the name of them up on the screen so you guys know they're like kind of um like they're not oversized but they're definitely a relaxed sort of fit high-waisted um that kind of thing and i really love them and yeah i also got two prints in the mail today i don't even think that i've showed you all of the prints that i've collected over the last couple weeks either but two of my final prints came in the mail and they are literally so stunning um i'll link them down below for you guys because i'm absolutely obsessed um so yeah i gotta get to my meeting but today's friday for approval so um should a university start okay meeting is done um it was just about basically uh what like our options are for second year like courses and things so 
Um, yeah, informative, um, also stressful. I'm excited for first year to be over, but also like, oh God, now I'm gonna be a 2 -0. -well. So it's snowy out, but it's not that cold out, which is good. Um, but me and my sister are hopping into the car. We were supposed to go do our taxes, but uh, the tax lady called and apparently the system is down, so. Oh, across Canada. Oh, wow. And so we're just gonna go pick up my mom and then go get some little grocery bits because me and Steve are having a spinach dip and mojito night tomorrow and I need the ingredients. So that's very exciting. It is Saturday, March 27th, and I just washed and dried and curled my hair because you know the drill. Saturdays are for going out into nature, going for nice walks, and taking pictures. So that's what we're doing. This is the outfit. Um, this skirt is from Aritzia. These tights are sheer texts, my Sam Edelman boots. Um, this turtleneck, Banana Republic, this cardigan, Aritzia, and then just the regular jewelries, Majuri, uh, Daniel Wellington watch, cuffed by Nano necklace, Majuri earrings, and then all Majuri rings. So that's, that's outfit number one for today because we are taking advantage of this day. And I don't even, mom, is it nice out? of this nice day and we are bringing another outfit along with us because also exams are coming up and I will not have as much time to be going out and taking pictures so I figure let's get as many as we can today. Just took some pictures in this spot. Um, Birds Hill Park is the best place to take pictures. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my ankle. I keep bending my ankle. What? Yeah, I don't know. Birds Hill Park is the best place to take pictures just because there's so many different areas. Also, I can't, with the sun, my eyes can't handle it. Like that's why you'll never see me looking straight at the camera um, in pictures because I literally have to look down because the sun is just too strong. Even on a like partially cloudy day, I just can't handle it. It's actually quite a little bit chilly out today, honestly. Um, my hands are a little bit red, but um, I think we got some good ones in this first set, hopefully. Now moving on to the next location, which is still within this park, um, but um, it's just a little bit closer to the entrance and I have a different outfit. Although I'm really liking this <laughs> outfit, so I'm, I'm kind of sad that I have to change out of it, but is what it is. Second outfit, this sweater from Aritzia, this purple colored shirt, and just everything else is the same. Um, I also have some jeans on, so. You know what? It's hard to change in a car, and that's what I've learned today. So picture taking is done, and now, and so we were just chilling at home for a little bit. Um, went to Michael's to get some washi tape because I want to post some Polaroids on my wall. Um, and I thought this would be cute. Um, it's kind of like a floral, a uh, different like floral prints. Um, and so now I am going to pick up Steve because we're going to go get him his new bike.